Today we are going to talk about how we RV with cats. So we have two of them. This is Lucy. Pepe is wandering around here. And we actually purchased an RV of this size because we knew that we wanted to travel more, be gone more. And as pet owners, we said we got to do this responsibly. So we need to have a place for them. So the RV is bigger for them, though we certainly benefit from it. It all starts with having a good experience when driving in the truck. There are a couple philosophies here. Some people only kennel their cats. They put them directly into a kennel, maybe even cover it. And that may be exactly what works for your cats. It didn't work for our cats. They meowed all the time. They wanted to be a part of the experience. And because Lucia has been RVing with us since she was only eight, 10 weeks old, we wanted this to be the most positive experience. As a matter of fact, she started by um, just hanging out on top of the dashboard. So both of the cats like to be out and about. And so what we've done is we've catified our back seat. We, we've catified it in a way that is easy for us to take everything out, tuck it under the trailer so we can have people back here, but also is convenient for the cats. So let's take a look. The big reveal. <laughs> it's not that big of a reveal. Okay. First thing you see is a cat bed. This is the same one that was inside the trailer. And this inside here is where Pepe sleeps. And the best part is all you have to do is pop the lid off to get Pepe out. Though most of the time, as soon as we get to the campground, he's at the door going, let me out, I want out now. But let's talk about what's inside here. Move that out of the way. Now, first thing you see is puppy pads. This is because just in case there's an accident, I always have a packet of puppy pads on hand. And they get, they're used more for puke than they are for anything else. Yeah, they don't, I mean, they have, as you can see, so that is a litter box. It is made of recycled paper. You never want to have cat litter in your RV because you're, or I'm sorry, in your truck. If you have cat litter in your truck, you will have a mess of clay everywhere. We found that out the hard way and then had to take it somewhere and say, can you please clean this truck. So we have a kennel in here. The kennel is in here for emergencies. You should always have a kennel with a door just in case you have to kennel your cats for an emergency, to go to the vet, to go through um, a border crossing. We've had that happen. Fortunately, we didn't have to put the cats away, but you need to have a kennel. Uh, if you have two cats, have two kennels. If they can fit in there comfortably and it's only for emergencies, have one. We've gone with both. Um, right now, we just have one. There's a puppy pad inside the kennel because that's where a cat may go if he or she is sick. We have one here. Now these are the really nice rubber mats so obviously we could just wipe it off. The goal here as I said already is to make our life easier so that's what the puppy pads do. There are no puppy well, pads. And they also keep it from rolling around the RV yeah. or the truck. The other thing I have in the passenger side doors I have a small roll of paper towels and I have a bunch of those plastic grocery bags that you get so if there is an emergency I can just fold the puppy pad up put it in a bag just like you would with dog poop and tie it up. The cat litter box is only used on a very rare occasion. Sometimes on a la long travel day, we we'll stop for lunch and we'll take the cats back to the RV. They get just a very small treat um, of something because cats can actually go a long time without food and water. We're talking at least 12 hours. Uh, we never travel that long, but they can. But if we do have a long travel day, we'll take them back there, give them just a little something to eat, and they have time to use the litter box in there. This is used very rarely but I am thankful that it's here. We've actually had a cat puke and uh, it was Lucia and she went into the litter box and puked. So that has changed since the calming collars and I hope that that continues. They have not used the litter box and have not puked yet. I'm gonna keep knocking on my head there, make sure that happens. But this is how we travel in the truck with cats. And links for all the products that Michelle have yeah. been mentioning are all in the description. So they're check on. them out and they're on our Amazon storefront. All right, so we've gone through several different um, ways of setting up the RV and organizing it. If you've seen any of our past videos, you know that we've done quite a bit of demolition and remodeling it. Part of that was, of course, for better living, but part of that was for better living with these two. And they certainly benefit from some of the decisions we've made. At our home base, we had a, a variety, we have a variety of cat towers. So we've played around with what could we have in the RV for them? Because cats, if you know anything about them and you're watching this video, so you probably do, if you know anything about them, they love to climb. 
in an RV they can't climb. One of the changes that we thought we were gonna make early on um, was this pantry. When we bought this RV and we saw this pantry, we didn't think what most people think. Most people think, oh, all that space to carry stuff. We thought, yay, a climbing space for the cats. And then we went on our first, you know, long two month trip and realized how much we need this pantry space and how much we didn't want cat hair all over it. So this was going to be the spot. We actually took this door off and put a curtain up. The whole plan was this was gonna be a hiding spot until we went on that trip and we realized that's not gonna work. So Brian put the pantry door back on. I got bonus space. Shut the door before a cat gets in. And I got a mirror, which is always good. So we went back to the drawing board and said, okay, now what? What are we gonna do for a cat tower? Because we really like that. And we've got this space right here. So we brought one of our big cat towers from home that I know you've seen before. And Brian will insert a picture of it here. And it was great. And we actually would move it to the front of the RV while we were driving and the cats enjoyed it. But I was getting tired of that heavy piece for um, our trips. So we went with these boxes, again, something else we have at home. And we decided, let's try this. The, bot the top box I said goes in the truck. Pepe sleeps in it the whole time. Not that big of a deal. The challenge is the cats have said, we don't like it. So we're working on getting something different here, something custom. We'll see how it goes. And the nice part is it will fit in this corner while we're driving. At least that's the, the plan right now. When we demoed the dinette and we put in this Ikea table, we didn't think necessarily about how this would benefit the cats until I was home one day and Pepe was scratching at one of the tall uh, cat towers that we have and said, hey Brian, what if we wrap the table legs? What do you think, Lucy? Should we wrap the table legs? What if we wrap the table legs in sisal? And let me tell you, the cats love it. So the front two table legs actually are wrapped, wrapped in sisal and they scratch at both of them because the biggest thing you have to know is cats need a couple of things. They need a place to hide where they can go if they're feeling unsafe. They need stuff to scratch at and they need some toys to keep them entertained. And the, those toys should rotate in and out so they should never be the same. The other thing that they need, especially this one, is something to nibble on. So this little table trio here has catnip. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lucy. It has catnip, it has sweet mint, and it has lemon balm. The sweet mint's for me, mojitos. The sweet mint is for uh, Brian, but Lucy loves to nibble on it, which is absolutely fine. Obviously the catnip. And the lemon balm is actually, so, and it has some um, good, benefits for anti-nausea, calming, and so just having those and having, you know, being able to have them rub by them and touch them and, and have the smells is always good. The other thing, since Lucy's here on display, you'll see this collar. So the collar Lucy has on is purple and right behind Brian is Pepe. He has on a collar. These are cat calming collars. They have pheromones in them, um, citronella, which surprised me. Um, lemon, couple balm. Of lemon balm. Um, here's the greatest thing about the, these collars. They actually work. Um, some reviews on Amazon made me think that they weren't going to work, but oh my gosh, they are the best cat collars. Uh, we haven't had any puking yet. Right. And we have, uh, the cats have just been overall more calm in the truck and we leave them on if we're just out for a weekend, which is what we're out for right now. We leave them on, especially because they're very mild right now. They're at the end. They last about 30 days and it just keeps them calmer overall. And when they're happier, they relate RVing as a positive experience. And if we're just stopping somewhere overnight, we leave them on. Now they are not breakaway collars. I have them on very loose, so they actually could get out of them. Um, but we don't leave them on if we're going to be gone away from them because obviously we don't want our cats getting into any kind of predicament. The next thing is moving into our living space. We have these rocking chairs that stick out from the wall. And because of that, the cats can run and hide behind here. And that is beneficial to them because it gives them a hiding space. We have some, we have a cat bed scratcher back here because sometimes cats like to scratch on tall things and sometimes they like to scratch on flat things. So we have the scratcher behind here and we have some beds for them to lay in. Uh, if you ever can't find Lucy, she's definitely tucking herself behind a bed. 
Sometimes she's even underneath a rocker because she likes that. The other thing this table is great for is it gives them a perch. So obviously you've seen the cats will go anywhere. And what rules apply at home as to what, where cats can go is completely different than in the RV. When it comes to the RV, there's nothing off limits. What we do all the time is write down our counter space because you just never know where a cat's been and that's okay. But this, this is a great space for us, one, just for setting drinks or flowers or whatever, but it's also great because it gives them a place to look outside as they so greatly display. The other thing is you can see Pepe is putting his nose up here. At night, this cabinet door we actually have open and um, what is normally in there is just a couple of blankets. So Pepe goes in and lays down and that gives him a quiet place. And he, for some reason, he likes it. Uh, during the day, we shut it because it's just a nighttime thing. In our main living space, we try not to have a lot of clutter because we don't want things in our walkway, right? But once in a while during the day, I'll throw out a toy. So something like this, which is great, makes some noise. It's great. And I put this is shelf liner on the bottom so it doesn't move. But if I go like this, a cat comes a running. And so this will be just here for like the day. I'll, t I'll put it away and it'll go behind the chair. Once in a while in the middle of the night, we'll hear one of the cats playing with it. But just moving toys about helps not have a lot of clutter, but gives them the variety of that they need. The next is where do you put cat food? We like to have it where it's not in our way. So we have a cat scratcher that someone's always sitting on. And I want you to notice that underneath here is that shelf liner. I can't turn it too much because there's actually catnip in here but it doesn't move because of that. And the catnip doesn't fall through and the food and water. It's nicely tucked underneath of our bar along with the little, they can get a scratch right here. It's tucked under our bar. So it's not in our walkway, but gives them what they need. For us, it was important to cover our stove because there's a window. If there's a window in the RV, the cats want to be able to see outside. So we've done a couple of different things, but here's where we're, we're at right now. It is a cutting board. If we were to use that as a cutting board, obviously we would wipe it down. We have Clorox wipes. We would wipe it down, but it's also a great place for the cats to sit. Sometimes they're perched right here. Sometimes they're on top, depending on how interesting the view is outside. Right now we have some chives there. A lot of times we'll have the cat grass, but just another place the cats don't burn their paws and we have a place for them to look outside. It's what you've been waiting for, another shot of Brian sitting on the toilet. Wah, wah. <laughs> so the hardest thing to deal with with any, I think, traveling with cats in a travel trailer or in an RV is what to do with the litter box and how to deal with that. You don't want it in your bedroom because then you smell it in your bedroom. You don't want it in your kitchen because yuck, then you smell it in the kitchen area while you're cooking or in your living space. We found the perfect space for our litter box in the bathroom, which is obviously a most important thing. Now, before you say it, no, we didn't turn our, our shower into a litter box. A lot of people talk about doing that. Our shower is for us, we use it. So we have an outdoor kitchen that we didn't really feel like was necessary for us to utilize. And we took that area and converted it into full up storage and a little cat area. In order to have this area accessible for the cats, we had a hard door here that was a solid door with that little three inch gap at the bottom and a gap at the top. Obviously that means the cats would not be able to access the bathroom. So we took that door out and we put in one of these accordion fold doors, which is great because it just gives us a little more space, makes the RV look a little more open. If this door is closed because someone's in the bathroom, the cats love the play. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do that again, okay. do that again. <laughs> play through the bottom and they can even come in and out when the store is closed but for the most part we just leave the store open all the time unless there's someone in the bathroom using it we have rules about that yeah <laughs> so you can see right here I put in a cat door underneath our sink so the cats have access to the under the kitchen or under the uh, area here in the bathroom to the outdoor kitchen and we'll go outside and we'll show you what we did outside we are in the outdoor kitchen area, or well, we're about to be in the outdoor kitchen area. When uh, we're in travel mode, this is storage for us. And I feel like it is Mary Poppins bag because as you can see, a lot of stuff comes out of it. Uh, so all the things that I keep in here, I've got a table for our grill, the grill itself. Um, I've also got a tub of just all kinds of outdoor stuff. So it's, it's got the tablecloth, it's got campground fogger, it's got um, grilling tools. It just has all of that stuff that we use outside because what we had in our original outdoor kitchen was a little platform right here with a slide out grill 
one of those Coleman grills, none of the, uh, no relation, we don't get the family discount. Um, it was one of those Coleman grills. You couldn't use it here because the space just wasn't set up. There was a fridge there. Took the fridge out, tore the shelf out, reused the countertop on the shelf just to set right in place. And now this is way, how it looks for living mode. So we've got the litter box here. I've got the cat litter store here just so it's convenient. Some extra citronella oil and some uh, wipes uh, so that we can just clean up this area nicely. I keep trash bags right here. You can see oh, inside. There's a little storage. You can oh. see inside that I've got some storage here for things like a little broom. I've got my litter scoop there. All that's in there. And this is just kind of the way it lives. We're actually in the process of designing an outdoor playground for the cats. I'm very excited. They have to subscribe in yep. order to see it. You'll see it coming up soon. So <laughs> click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And as soon as we get that built and put into place, we'll see it on another video. We can't wrap this video without talking about cat litter because we've used litter we use at home. It's what we like the best. Um, in the RV, it's not as good to use because litter like this, as you all know, if you're watching this and you have cats, tracks everywhere. At home, we have a good system and it doesn't track anywhere. But when this RV is in travel mode, the cats can still access the litter box. But that means they don't have this whole space to clean their paws off. So we see a lot more litter inside our bathroom, which if you get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night is not the most pleasant thing to step, step on. So we are transitioning away from this and we are going to start using natural pine. You can see in here. Oh my gosh. First of all, it's so much lighter. This is how it looks in transition mode now. So we've got a layer of the pine new litter with a little bit of the old clumping clay litter on top. Just so the cats get used to the new feel of the new litter. Now they use the pine in the truck. We, we talked about that because we don't have clay litter in the truck. It's a terrible idea. Never do it. So we use this already. So it's only going to take a couple of days and they're going to be fine with the pine. The pine is going to make it less weight, which is great because, oh my gosh, this is the first time I lifted it and I can't believe how light it is. A 20 pound bag of pine is the equivalent of a 50 pound box of litter. There you go. So this is going to be much easier to use. We are not tied to this brand. We don't have a brand yet that we like. Uh, we've tried a, a, a variety of brands. The, co the goal right now is to find what's most cost effective, does the job. So we're going to work on using this so that we can create the perfect outdoor space for them and for us. Ultimately, that's the goal. When you travel with cats, you want harmony between your cats and the owners, or it's not fun for anybody. Time to go back inside, Lucia. Lucia, hey Lucia, Lucia, what you doing? Mommy put catnip in there. <sighs>